what's going on y'all this is rfbm raising the financial bar with mar and here's just a quick video that i wanted to do for those that were impacted in florida locations that there is some assistance available from FEMA. So Floridians who sustained loss from May 10 severe storms and tornadoes have one month to apply for federal assistance. The deadline is August 19, 2024. So those that have been impacted, you don't wanna miss out on this. FEMA approved 5.6 million in assistance to households. So there's definitely some funding currently available. All right, so it looks like the area that may qualify would be those that were impacted in Leon County. So if you're eligible, you'll be able to get assistance for temporary lodging, basic home repairs, personal property losses, and other uninsured disaster-related expenses. All right, so here's the direct website. As I always tell you all, try to get it while you can because when it's gone, it's gone. There's always people looking to try to get the funds before you. Not to mention, there may be people that don't need it that's getting it before you. All right, so before you hit apply for assistance, you're going to want to just view around throughout the page just so that you know of all the resources it breaks down certain sections that you may have questions that you want clarifications for and then we have the help for individuals and families after the disaster a little general area here where it also addresses different ways in which you can do the application along with contacting of uh, representatives from that sector so after applying for assistance which i'll guide you to where you're going to go to after reading this you need to understand that it's going to be reviewed and they'll determine if you're able to get that disaster related damage for your home or personal property. So FEMA staff and inspectors may contact you to discuss your disaster caused damage. They may also ask for information to support your eligibility. So be prepared to have information to support your claim. And also just to add, if you disagree with the outcome, you can submit an appeal for your application. All right, so first things first, we're going to jump into the application and go as if we're going to apply. All right, so now that you're in the following screen, you're going to see a section where it allows you to get right into let's get started you click you're not a robot put in your zip code then enter your state and city it's going to bring you to the section that selects the storm that affected you go to the next page and at that point once you click the next page it should bring you to a page showing your county and let you know if your area was affected in order for you to complete the application in this case i'm in hillsborough county so that wouldn't apply for me, but for many of you, it could very well be the case that your county or your area was potentially impacted. At that point, you would just go ahead and continue on through the application. As always, I appreciate the support. If you find this content helpful, informative, useful, please give it a like, comment, subscribe. And again, this is RFBM, Raising the Financial Bar with Mar. Peace, love, blessings, take care. Hope you're finishing the year strong. Be safe out here. Our own mind has to be changed. We have to change our uh, mind about ourselves. Because this, world, this is world is such a... Give me, give me, give me, give me. Everybody back off. You know, everybody's like you taught that from school. I, I don't come to bow, you know. I come to conquer.